Guess who's back? Woo! I am so happy to be back, you guys. It has been way too long. I am so happy to be back on YouTube. It's in the videos. But you guys, it has been a rough four months. Trust and believe. But I'm back better than ever. Seeing as season 16 is upon us, and season 16 is a really sickening season. A really sickening. Seeing as we are in season 16, I wanted to do a tier video of the lip syncs for your life, or wins, or anything except the crown. But before we get started, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like the video, comment on my makeup, do all that jazz. And without further ado, let's get into this tier video. Now, I do not have a title yet. I was gonna call it like, tear it down, but I kind of like word played it with a couple of people and they were like, it is gonna be broken down into four categories. Now, the top of the tier is gonna be S and that is gonna be for sickening Now these are the lip syncs that I will fondly remember. It was giving me everything, all of it, all the tricks, all the everything. It was giving it to me. So that's going to be the top tier S. The next tier is K, and that is going to be killing it. Now, this is when the girls are killing it. It's not like, it's like almost on the verge of sickness, but it's like, you're doing great. Like, you're doing amazing. I'm going to remember this lip sync. You know, you're just doing the damn thing. Next tier below that is Y. Now, why is you did what needed to be done? Now, these are the lip syncs, probably won't remember. Really nothing crazy special about them. But you know what? You did what needed to be done. And at the bottom is E. And that stands for erase everything all at once. Like, these are the lip syncs where you're just like, what are you doing, gal? What's going on? What What's the stitch? What's the T? We're gonna get started in order from the season. So the first lip sync we got to see was Safira versus Q. Now this is going right in the Y category. Let me tell you why. So this lip sync, I feel like Safira really held her own. Safira was like, this is the first episode. Let me turn out the tricks, the kicks, the splits, the titties, the all that jazz. And Safira is a well-round versatile entertainer. I just felt like Q was a little awkward. Like it was a little like, like she was thinking of what to do. And it's Beyonce, okay? You did what needed to be done. It wasn't terrible. Next lip sync is Geneva versus Plain Jane. Now this is gonna go right into the category of why again. Why did we pick this song? RuPaul's Drag Race. Why did we pick this song? Becky G has some hits. She has Break a Sweat. Like, I'm not saying Shower is not a hit. I just feel like for a lip sync, I think both held their own. I think they did what needed to be done. I just don't think I'm going to remember this lip sync and be like, oh yeah, Geneva and Plain. I think they were both pretty much even. I think that Plain kind of like threw out some tricks just because she wanted to win, but it was just like, she didn't need to do all of that. Next lip sync is Hershey versus Geneva. And this is going to be our first lip sync in K, because they were killing it, you guys. This, to me, was a pretty evenly matched lip sync. I think they took two different approaches. Uh, my only qualm with this is I feel like Geneva was a little too with her mouth a little too much for the song. It didn't really call for all of that. But again, you are fighting for your life. So moving on, our next lip sync is Geneva again versus Mirage. And they are gonna go right into the K category because they were killing it. Okay, let me tell you one thing. And this is just my, you know, thinking as, as a lip syncer. If Mirage knew those words, I think Mirage would have stayed. Mirage knew five words, the chorus and the beginning of the first verse. That was it. That's all she knew. But her movement, the way that she just touches and floats and turns and hits those moves that needed to be hit on the clack clack, she's just a fluid performer. Mirage is just a very beautiful, fluid performer. Now, Geneva held her own. I'm not giving, I'm not taking anything away from Geneva. With Mirage's flowiness and airiness, I really think that if she would have known the lyrics, she probably would have stayed. Comment below, what do you guys think about each lip sync or what was your favorite, what was your least favorite lip sync? Okay, next up is Amanda versus Q. And this is our first lip sync going into E, erase everything all at once. Erase it, erase it, erase it. You guys, you guys, you guys. What can I say about this lip sync? It was so awkward. 
So awkward. And I've seen Amanda turn it. Okay? I've seen Amanda turn it during her talent show. Sickening. I found both of them, Q and Amanda, kind of like thinking about their moves. Like, and then with Q, I felt like, I don't want to say. Ooh. I just breathe. Mama, breathe. I get it. It is a lip sync for your life and you want to stay. It was looking a little desperado. Just a little. Let's just comment down a little bit. To me, I will remember this lip sync, but not for any good thing, okay? So next up is Maya versus Geneva. And this is the first lip sync in the category of S. Sickening. Okay, I have to tell you guys, I watched this lip sync at a viewing party at Gypsy. Shout out to Gypsy. Hi. Mama. Everyone was on their feet. Maya ate her up. You guys, she did not disappoint. Geneva was fine. Geneva was fine. And this is the first time, for the most part, we're seeing these tricks. So we're just, I was on my feet. I was like, oh my God. And then control. Janet Jackson control. Like, come on. Like, they did not disappoint. This was epic. It's Megami versus Maya. And this is going to go into the category of K for killing it. Now, this was one of my favorite lip syncs of the season. And here's the thing about me as a lip syncer. I love the tricks. I love the theatrics. I love all that stuff. But I also love a more tamed back lip sync. It's not always about a stunt queen. It's not always about that, especially if the song is not calling for it. I just thought it was so beautiful. They took two different approaches. Megami was very theater, very New York, very oh. And we cannot forget the penguin flop because that was just sickening. As soon as Maya took off her shoes, I was like, you didn't need to do that. To me, one of the most like emotional, but not like sad emotional. It's more like a a fun emotional is Tsunami versus Morphine. And this is going into the category of K for killing it. This was a fun lip sync, you guys. It was. It was two really good friends. Now, this could have been one of those lip syncs where I was fine with either one staying or going. I just felt like Tsunami, for the most part, held back a little bit. Maybe that's just her vibe as a lip syncer, more laid back. But I just really hope that she didn't, like, tone it back because she wanted Morphine to stay. Next lip sync is Maya versus Plasma. And this is going right up there to S for sickening And let me tell you, it is not because of Plasma. No shade! No shade, Alti! Plasma, she ate you up. Maya chewed you up and spat you out. The song, love. We love Gaga. It was a TikTok version, sure, why not? The thing about Maya is she did all that in the gown. Girl! So moving right along, we have Morphine versus Safira. Now this is gonna go into the why category. You did what needed to be done. Now let me tell you why. I, I don't hate the song. I'm just like, those two performers don't give me when I think of them, I don't think of that type of song. Next up is Maya versus Morphine. Now this is gonna go into the category again of why you did what needed to be done. This is not a lip sync that I will remember. You know, I think at this point in the competition, we have seen both of their tricks already. I love the kind of combativeness. It's so ballroom. I love the whole like, throwing the coat, throwing the tit, throwing the glove. That was fun, you know, I mean, they know each other, so. Out of everyone, I'm glad it was them because, you know, I don't know how I would have reacted. The next lip sync, Dawn versus Morphine. And this is going to sickening. This lip sync is iconic. This lip sync is a lip sync that I know people will remember for a good while. Dawn, sorry girl. Sorry girl, Morphine. This was your song. I bet you anything. When they saw the list of music, and Morphine saw Body by Megan Thee Stallion. I guarantee you that was the first song she learned. I guarantee you, if she didn't already know it. Because it was made for her. This, to me, is a lip sync that I'm going to remember. Like, one of the top lip syncs of the season. It was sickening, it was sickening, it was sickening. Next up is Morphine versus Safira again. And this is going into why again. And let me tell you why. First and foremost, I'm a fan of this song. This song is in my Apple Music. I love this song. Would I ever lip sync to it? I would never lip sync to this song. I'm not saying every single lip sync song has to be dance. Every single lip sync song has to have pow and umph. It's just like as a drag queen or a drag performer, 
would you honestly listen to the song and be like, I'm gonna lip sync to that? That's that's on my list. No. It was whatever. Like to me, it was whatever. Like it wasn't a terrible lip sync, but it was, it was, eh. Next up is Plain versus Q. And this is going into the category of why you did what needed to be done. It was nothing to write home about, you know, Plain served beauty, gorgeous body, flawlessness. And you know, Q was there. Q was Q was serving white. This Lala Perusa. Everything. This, in my opinion, this is how Lala Perusa should be done with Dawn versus Amanda. And it is going right up there with killing it. Now, let me tell you right now, they both redeemed themselves. Amanda killed it. So fluid. Beautiful. Her makeup has improved. Mama. Dawn held her own too. Don't count out my sis Dawn. Because she held her own way better than... Next up is Megami versus Q. And they are right back at K for Killing It. Megami did that. Megami did that. Q had no... Q had no chance. I'm sorry. I love my sis. She is visually, gorgeously, flawlessly appealing. I just don't think performing is her is her strong suit. And I just think Megami had come back with something to prove, you know, and she did it. Next love sync is Morphine versus Geneva. And they're going right up to S for sickening. <laughs> this, oh my God, this is what I came here for. Now keep in mind, every single one of these lip syncs in this Lala Perusa, Amazing, amazing. This is one of those lip syncs and might be my favorite of the night. I don't know. Each one of them held their own. It was amazing. Geneva came back with a vengeance. She said, oh no, baby, I'm a performer. I'm from Texas. I'm going to show you how it's done. To me, the standout thing was when ah! Morphine, you know, windmilled, checking her nails. I really hope Morphine... I really hope that you implement that in every single lip sync because to me, that's what people are going to remember you for as a lip syncer. Obviously, your makeup too. But as a lip syncer, people are going to remember that. Implement that in everything. Next up is Mirage versus Hershey. And it is going to K for killing it. They both did great. I think that it was evenly matched for the most part. They're both captivating entertainers. You saw the mirage of it all. You saw the turns. You saw the clacks. You saw the fluidity. Hershey gives it to you. You know what I mean? Like, Hershey is not one of those entertainers that's going to give you split, dip, ya, gotta, 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 but she's going to captivate you on stage. They both look beautiful. They both turned the party. Next up is Amanda versus Megami. First and foremost, this is my favorite share song. I know it's like a cover of another song, but it's my favorite share song. But this was so good. They both did great. They both did great. I think for me, what took it there for Megami was hands down the making out with her hand. She always has this like touch of camp with her, which I love. Amanda was great too, but it was Megami just had that extra je ne sais quoi. Next up is a three-way lip sync with Maya, Plasma, and Tsunami. And this is going to go into... Why? You did what needed to be done. Tsunami was barely there in the lip sync. Maya did Maya. She did great. This was the first lip sync. She's like, I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to do a little flip, flip, dip, dip, but I'm not going to do too much. Plasma. I understand that you are fighting for your spot. I'm all for any rendition. I am. But Milkshake is a... Milkshake, it's it's a it's a laid back hip hop kind of moment. It's not a cheerleader one two three four. Next up is Mirage versus Morphine. This is gonna go into K for killing it. This was a beautiful lip sync. It's a beautiful song. They're both beautiful, fluid entertainers. I thought it was one of those lip syncs that like I could just watch over and over again because they're just so like gorgeous entertainers. The lay back together. Epic. Next lip sync is Maya versus Megami. And this is going right up into K for killing it. This was an amazing lip sync. Such a cool song and such a song that I don't think either of them would have really picked. Megami. Miss Thing. This is everything. I love that Megami has had an iconic moment in almost every single, no, every single lip sync. Because when she predicted the split, everything. I knew she won at that moment. I was like, oh, she won. Because they were pretty even for like the most part. So the last and final lip sync, and you know what's going right up there with S for sickening. 
is Megami versus Morphine. Both of these ladies have been turning the party the entire time, and it was so good. Megami, when she had her puppet out, so good, so clever. I know some people are like, well, she didn't know the lyrics. This is all she needed. Who cares? Morphing with her little like, doo -doo 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 -doo, with her booty, 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 everything. Congratulations, Morphing, for this, but I am so proud of Megami. I'm glad that she's getting all the praise. I'm glad that people are just living for her as I was living for her this whole season. Well, you guys, that was my first tier video for the lip syncs of your life and your win and your everything of season 16 of RuPaul's Drag Race. You guys, this has been so much fun. I am so glad to be back. Comment below if you have any ideas for the channel. I'm always looking for new stuff, new ways to bring out the Deja. I love you. I adore you. Please do not forget to follow me on all of my social media. It will be in the link below. Without further ado, I'll see you next time on my channel. Bye. Ah.